So, as you can see, there is a difference of this n factorial term. So, therefore, the entropy in terms of, uh, so therefore, the entropy in terms of thermodynamic probability what we uh, written uh, Boltzmann Planck post postulate that S is equal to K ln W. So, that now needs to be rewritten as S is equal to K ln W distinguishable divided by n factorial. So, this is the corrected expression for entropy now. So, previously is it was S is equal to K ln W or rather W D, but since we have seen that distinguishable particles are over counted um, compared to the indistinguishable particles because of the n factorial term. So, therefore, now in the next expression of entropy, we divided k ln w d by um, n factorial, we divided w d by n factorial. So, now let us see, uh, so this is S corrected. So, now let us see whether uh, this corrected entropy uh, is giving um, the right definition of extensive property for entropy rather whether Gibbs paradox is now went off. So, we can write S is equal to k ln w d minus k ln n factorial. And uh, for k ln w d, we, we got uh, uh, previously n k ln q plus e by t, this we got before, this is for the first term. So, k ln w, we got n k ln q plus e by t, where is the total energy. And this term we can write n k, again starting approximation, n k ln n plus n k again applying Starling's approximation. Okay. Um, so, if we write them, so you now I can put together uh, term 1 and term 3 and this we can write as n k ln q by n plus e by t plus n k or n k ln q by n. Uh, okay, now, now uh, if we write entropy for the monoatomic gas system what you discussed about, we can now replace q and e uh, for the monoatomic gas systems um, uh, partition function and the energy expressions. And therefore, we can write uh, this as Q was I'm sorry, uh, Q was two pi m k t divided by h square to the power three by two v divided by this n. Right? So n k ln two pi m k t by h square three by two v n. So this is uh, for uh, for the monoatomic gas system what you considered. So, 
system for the monatomy gas system this is entropy um, nkln 2 pi mkt by j square to the power 3 by 2 v uh, and then we had a n so n cam plus e is nothing but your 3 by 2 nkt and then we have a t here plus nk so my n is my entropy is nk where k is a Boltzmann constant ln 2 pi mkt h square 3 by 2 v y n this t and this t goes off so we have 3 plus 2 nk plus nk is 5 by 2 nk all right so this expression of entropy is an experimentally verified corrected expression for entropy derived by Sakur and Tetrode, the famous scientist and this expression of S is called the Sakur Tetrode equation. So, which I am rewriting again uh, because we need, we will be needing this again uh, in the remaining discussion. So, Sakut Tetrode uh, expression for entropy was S is equal to nk ln 2 pi mkt divided by h square 3 by 2 v by n plus 5 y 2 nk. So, this is the Sagut Tetrode equation. Now, let us check uh, whether this uh, corrected uh, entropic expression uh, could uh, get rid of the Gibbs paradox. So, now basically what we have to check is whether entropy is now showing as an extensive property. So, whether S is an extensive property what we are doing? Uh, so, we are increasing the volume to double to 2 V and we are increasing the number of particles n to 2 n. So, we are basically doubling of the volume and number of particles of the system and therefore, my new entropy S prime should become 2 s because S is an extensive property. Let us see whether we are getting that. So, our S prime should be now my n is 2n, I have everything same here, now volume has become 2v and my n has become 2n plus 5 by 2 again my n has become 2n and then I have k. So, if I take 2 out here, I get n k ln 2 pi m k t divided by h square 3 by 2. So, this 2, this 2 goes off. So, therefore, it remains p y n plus 5 by 2 n k because these two I have taken out and this expression n k ln 2 pi m k t h square 3 by 2 by v n 5 by 2 n k is nothing but my entropy. So, therefore, this is 2 s. So, therefore, the Gibbs paradox is This paradox is resolved.